What's up, guys? It's Redline bringing you Kage Wars episode 13. This one's going to be Minato Namakaze versus Mei Terume. This is going to be a savage matchup. I hope you guys will stay tuned and check it out. But we're going to get right into it. So play it! <laughs> you guys enjoyed that new video that was the one made by my buddy game so i'm gonna put that link to his channel in the description below i hope you guys will check it out i'm also gonna put a link to the kage wars battle bracket below this is gonna be the second time i've ever done the link and then i never did the link throughout the entire time of the uh Kanoji wars and that's why you always had the bracket in every single episode in the beginning of the episode, which I realize isn't very like entertaining, you know, when you watch the very first part of the episode. You kinda wanna see action. Like that's the way you get hooked in the very first part of the episode. So I changed it around a little bit here in the Kage War, where you get to see a little bit of the savagery that happens during the match, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's the actual ending. The people just don't really realize that too sometimes. That might be something else. You never really know. But it definitely was from this match here. This one is Minato Namakaze versus Mei Terume. In case you didn't know, what Mei Terume is the Mizukage during the series. And she's beautiful. She's amazing. But the problem is that she's going up against the Yellow Flash of the Leaf. The fourth Hokage, Naruto's dad, the man who passed away. And I hope you guys didn't get ruined for that. Fucking, I don't want that to be a spoiler. But at this point, this many years later... Y'all better have known your facts if you're watching a Naruto video. Let's be real here, you know? So, you know, you know, like Naruto? <laughs> but, back to the topic at hand though here. We've got Minato Namikaze going up against Mei Terume. This is kind of an unfair thing, but like, again, I made the random the bracket randomized. So like, I mean, it was gonna happen. Mei is one of the Kage. She's going to be in here. And going up against Minato is going to be a hard deal right away. You know, I, I feel bad, but he has the ability to teleport. He has all those crazy jutsu at his disposal, and he was considered one of the greatest. He's also that fast. Like, look at the beatdown is just happening. He's got the Rasengan. He's got all these different techniques. It makes him savage. But May's awakening here may change the strategy behind this match or may change the pace of it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm actually going to head the f*** out of here without saying the F-word, right? I'm following the terms and service of YouTube that no one seems to follow. I'm kidding. I don't really care. But that's what I have to say. So back to the topic at hand. Or no, back to the what I was going to do. I'm leaving. I, why am I even here still? Hit him with the reset gun. Oh, wait, no. He just, what? He got here with the flying raijin, or no, wait, what was that one called? I don't know. He's like the flying raijin. There's a different one. I don't really care. It was savage. Two big ass massive Rusen guns. It's. No. I mean, after all, Minato is awesome. The yellow flash of the leaf. I love the teleporting. By the way, I'm going to play favorites on this one. I do for Minato in this match here. Though May is amazing, and if she was real, like, I'm pretty sure my eyeballs would, my jaw would drop to the floor when I see her. But I was leaving. I, was, I really was. I was trying to leave. So I'm going to leave now. I'm going to leave you with some music. And hit that like, subscribe. Love y'all. Peace.